People like to be heard. When they're not heard, problems can arise. People in therapy are particularly in need of being heard. As you all know, clients require listening and engagement. Let me introduce you to a process that is exceptionally useful in that therapeutic context. It is called Open Dialogue. Open Dialogue is a client-centered approach to engage with people in crisis. It focuses on being in communication, not only with the client, but also with their family and with their social connections. When using Open Dialogue, practitioners involve all parties in a transparent and collaborative process. And that process involves network meetings. Decisions about therapeutic interventions are made only when everyone attending a network meeting has been heard and responded to. The Open Dialogue approach originated in Finland and was used with people experiencing psychosis. Over the past decade, though, Open Dialogue has been successfully implemented in mental health recovery settings in Scandinavia, the UK and the US. Here in Australia, Open Dialogue has been adapted and used in several mental health settings. These include two New South Wales local health districts, St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney and other mental health services in New South Wales, Queensland and Victoria. Open Dialogue is an important new direction in mental health care and I'm excited to let you know that on Thursday 27th of February, ACAP will host a seminar specifically on Open Dialogue. The evening will include plenty of time for questions and you can also engage in a practical exercise on the night if you wish. If you would like to know more about Open Dialogue, please come along to the seminar in person or log in via Zoom. If you prefer to attend in person on campus in Sydney, you will find a catered event that is free for ACAP students, staff and alumni. Incredibly, attendance is free for anyone attending via Zoom. So do come. For more information, click on the link below. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday 27th of February.